Question number 6. Four quantities P, Q, R, and S are such that P varies directly as the square root of Q and inversely as the square of the difference of R and S. Quantity Q is increased by 44%, while quantities R and S are each decreased by 10%. Find the corresponding percentage change in P correct to one decimal place for max. So the first thing you're going to do is to write the relationship connecting these uh, four variables. So P varies directly. So P varies, that is the sign of proportionality. P varies directly as a square root of uh, Q and inversely as the square of the difference of R and S. That is the difference of R and S then the square. So as the square of the difference of R and S, that is how I'm supposed to write it. Then the next step is to remove this uh, sign of proportionality and replace it with the um, equal sign. And after doing that, you're going to introduce a constant K. So P is equals to K, which is the constant of proportionality, the square root of Q, then inversely as uh, the square of the difference of R and S. So that is how we're supposed to write the equation connecting these four variables. So this is the original. This is the original P. Now let's go to the other statement where we have Q increasing by 44%. So that means that new Q will be 144% percent so it will be a hundred percent plus 44 that is uh, 44 percent then r and s will be decreased by 10 percent so new r and s will therefore be 100 percent which is the original subtract 10 will be 90 percent now having obtained those now let us um, input them in the equation and now get the new value for p so therefore new p and i'm going to use um, let me use uh, p prime this one indicates new p so is equals to k then the square root of q the new q will be 144 percent which is 144 divided by 100 which is uh, 1.44 q then divided by R and S decreasing by 90%. So it will be 90 over 100, which is 0 0.9. So we have 0 0.9 R subtract 0 0.9 S. And you get the square of that. So that is the new value of P. Now, what are you going to do next? We're going to simplify this uh, equation. So K uh, multiply by this will be one the square root of 1.44 will be 1.2 then the square root of um, q we just leave it as square root, root q like that then for the denominator um when i look at um, 0.9 r subtract 0.9 s you can see 0.9 is common in both r and s so we're going to factor it out so 0.9 and since all those two numbers 0.9 uh, r and 0.9 s both of them are being squared we're going to square these so 0.9 squared is common and then we shall now remain in the bracket with r minus s that is just uh, simply factoring out uh, simplifying this one further these are you going to get uh, when you multiply these we get 1.2 k the square root of q then divided by we divide this one by 0 0.9 squared this one is 0 0.9 squared then uh, I forgot to put squared there so r minus s should be squared so this is uh, r minus s squared like that so simplifying still further uh, what you're going to do here we're going to take uh, these 
uh, 1.2 we divide by 0 0.9 squared so let me uh, use the calculator to do that so 1.2 so this is um, so 1.2 divided by 0 0.9 squared you get uh, 1.4 1.481 1 1.4 1.4 1.481 like that and then the constant of proportionality the square root of q then everything divided since we have divided um, 0 0.9 squared we remain in the denominator with r minus s squared so now we have the value of the new p so this one is the new p that is the new p this one is the original now the question is find the corresponding percentage change in p how do you get the percentage change percentage change is given by is equals to uh, change divided by the original multiplied by 100 now do you get change we shall get um, the value of um, new p subtract the original p then divided by the original which is uh, p and then we multiply this one by 100 and since uh, you can see this one is common uh, when you look at this part look at this part that is here let me use a different color here so when you look at this part and this part that is here that is common that part is common so to get the change uh, we shall get um, the change by simply taking 1.481 uh, so this will be given by 1.481 then uh, this is uh, we can just put these values although you don't need to put them so k the square root of q divided by r minus s squared then subtract the original value of p is k the square root of q divided by r minus s squared that this now represent the change okay and when you subtract these uh, these are what you're going to get 1.481 this is the same as 1.481 subtract 1 you shall get 0 0.481 k the square root of q divided by r minus s squared like that so that is what you get so this is the change so this one represents the change you, you just need to divide this one by the original and the original is k the square root of q everything subtracted uh, divided by r minus z squared then we multiply this one by 100 so looking at this uh, you can see this one is common so you can see this part is common so this one we're going to cancel it out so that one and that one k square root of q divided by r minus s squared so that is common and so you're going to Made with 0 0.481 multiplied by 100 and this one is going to give 48.1 uh, percent that is correct to one decimal place and that is an increase so this one is an increase of 48.1 percent so that is simply how we're supposed to solve that question